Today's families love three row crossovers. They have the size to handle the school run. They're comfortable enough for the daily commute and they have all the space you'd possibly need for gear or groceries. But it's not enough that these cars are big and comfortable anymore. They need to be safe and smart. And that's exactly what Toyota has done with the 2020 Highlander. Well, these kind of redesigns can bring big mechanical changes. Toyota's been a little bit conservative with the 2020 Highlander. This car carries the same 3.5 liter V6 and eight speed automatic transmission as last year's car. That means 295 horsepower and 263 pound feet of torque and a tow rating of 5,000 pounds. Toyota stretched the Highlander's body by 2.4 inches, increasing the amount of cargo space by, we don't know. The company hasn't said how much more cargo volume there is, but it should be pretty usable because even with that extra space, the middle seat slides forward even further, granting more room. The Highlander's new styling is evolutionary. It's not a huge departure from last year, but there's still a lot in common with other new Toyotas. One thing we are happy about is that Toyota got rid of the horrid, terrible, awful razor blade grill that was on the old Highlander. This new design is much more attractive. Well, changes to the exterior are more evolutionary. Changes to the cabin aren't really. And that's fine. We like this space. It looks good. It feels good. I like all the little cubbies and shelves and places I can put my phone. And I also like this new 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system. Toyota says this is the biggest infotainment system in the segment, and I have to believe them. You can pair it up with an 11 speaker JBL audio system, but if you want features like a Wi Fi hotspot, you're out of luck. With so many families trusting their safety to crossovers, it's no surprise that Toyota has enhanced the Highlander's driver assistance suite. The so called Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 retains all of last year's goodness automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams, and has added two new features. Lane keeping assist helps keep the car centered while the adaptive cruise control is engaged, while traffic sign recognition does what it says on the tin. It reads traffic signs. And the best part, all that technology, new and old, is standard on every Highlander trim. Changes to the V6 might be minimal, but updates for the hybrid are much more extensive. The old V6 is gone, replaced by a 2.5 liter four cylinder. Toyota says this increases the fuel economy by 17% from 28 miles per gallon combined to 34. But at the same time, it also means less power. This model has 240 horsepower combined versus the old model's output of 306. Toyota will offer the Highlander in five trims, L, LE, XLE, Limited, and Platinum. As for the Highlander Hybrid, it will drop that base L trim and carry on with the final four. It's still early days for the 2020 Highlander, so we don't know how much this new model is going to cost. And to be honest, we might not know for a while. Toyota isn't planning on launching the gas model until December of this year, and the hybrid isn't slated to arrive until early 2020.